Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dagon Rompa. Oh, I see, you're just mistaken. It's not something cheap and silly like that. We just want to change the world, that's all. We don't really have to understand. Demons aren't needed in our world anyway. It's fun. Fine, 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 fine! We're gonna make a kid holy paradise! Boo! 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 Why are they all booing? That's what he meant to say. Unforgivable. No matter what kind of reason you have, whether you're an adult or a child, you killed people. So many people, like it was nothing, and I'll never forgive that, ever. <laughs> That's it. Those are the eyes I was talking about. The eyes that just scream hatred. <laughs> Big sis, <laughs> looks like you're finally disgusted by me for real. <laughs> Huh? What? Big sis. But I don't know about what you said. Comparing likes and dislikes and good and evil. I mean, we're trying to bring peace to the world, you know? That's why there's nothing wrong with us. No matter how much you hate us, we aren't wrong! What huh. are you... You kill people and laugh about it and say that you aren't the ones in the wrong? Unforgivable! Huh? Why? Why are you all cheering for the enemy? Adults? Oh, I guess it's that I'm even hated by the kids, too. I guess. <laughs> oh, so it's the other way around for you, huh? Okay. If I'm hated this much, then there's no point in faking friendships and trying to be liked. I'm free to do anything I want. Alright, let's do this boss battle now. We're on now. Let's go. What's this next beetleboard now? Ooh! Oh, sweet lord! Oh my god! Oh my lady goddess! This is the biggest one ever. No matter how much we're hated, no matter how much we're shunned, we're definitely not wrong. That's the real truth. Because Big Sis Junko said so. Big Sis Junko? Big Sis Junko, the only one who loves me, the only one different than other people. Big Sis Junko, the one who uh, yeah. gave us our sparkly home. Chose yeah. adultery, took her away from us and said that she was the bad one. They're the filthy ones, they're the ugly ones, the disgusting ones! Oh boy. Alright. Samurai! Monokuma! <laughs> Samurai Monokuma. If I oh were God. Hunting, I think Monica ah. was pretty ah, I wanna drink Okay, what do I do oh, here? Monica, look at me like a piece of milk. I can't see the weak point on this one. I don't see it either, Toka. Holy crap! Holy crap! Fuck me! 
Hey, hang on. What about a knockback? Holy crap! Holy oh, crap! Oh, what the fuck! Oh crap! Damn! What do I do here? The bomb. Is there some way we can repel it? You're right. I totally forgot. Amaru. Oh crap! The weak spot. Come on. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh. Come on. All right. What the butt? went down just like that? What? Are you serious? What? Oh god. What? Are you serious? No way. No way. Are you serious? Oh, well. Well, bye bye. So long, farewell. This is the shortest boss battle I've ever done. How's that possible? They're fighting again. What in the world is this? I'm still questioning this was a short boss battle. And it looked huge. Really huge. Oh my god. Are you serious with this? Right. What did you say? <laughs> How is this possible? Okay. It was a lot longer than the other one. No, I meant the other one was a lot longer than this one, and this one was the shortest one I've ever done than the other one. Uh, are they gonna give me a heart? Because I had no clue what to do in the first place. Uh, I totally missed my heart. Okay. Oh crap. Back in the elevator, bitches. Or what now? Yep. Let's do something. Toko, what is it? Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, and contacting Future Foundation is... I know, I know, I should hurry up with it, right? Uh, no, I didn't mean that. Too late. <laughs> Too late, bitch. Oh, anime version. Cool. What happened, Toko? <gasps> what? Because you can't do anything, I'm setting it up for you. Just wait a minute, will you? Oh, sorry. All right, here we go. Uh, 
It's connecting, oh, please, stupid. Please answer me. It's connecting. Looks like it didn't work. Well, that's just too bad. We should uh, probably give up for now. Coco, what are you doing? Loud and clear. This is future foundation. Branch number. Is that Biakuya? Biakuya! Biakuya! Makoto Naegi. Makoto! Kamaru! Wait. Ah, oh, crap. I got a big fat C. Uh, oh, I didn't get hidden kids? Uh, crap. I forgot you had to find hidden kids. I forgot about that. God damn it! This is what happens when you're, like, playing for a while and you're, like, going all over the places and you never f stop to see what's going on. Ah, uh, okay, so that is all my fault. My report card failed! <laughs> oh god, nope. Still so much to learn. Is this really how much you care about me? Come at me like you're trying to rip me open. That's the only <laughs> way to earn Yakuya Togami. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Chapter two and to be continued. We're saving. Okay. Thank you. No. All right. <laughs> How's everybody doing? We're starting chapter three. Man, it's been so long. This is these are the longest ten gameplays ever. the whole time. I'm here. I wish I knew you were all right. I mean, I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive. Here comes the dares. <laughs> what a reunion. I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. It's her brother! Brother! Oh my god! It's her brother! Huh? I see. And you don't know either. Then... You don't know either? But... but it's gonna be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. 
But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? What do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You, you really don't know? Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Oh, cool! Oh, sweet! Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared. Everyone was so worried about you. Worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Did I not? Oh, God! <laughs> you very much didn't! Yeah, that sounds like Toko. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you two are together. Okay. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister falls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! Liar! <laughs> so, where's Biakria? Master is safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was probably taken by surprise by some fiendish coward. There's no other way. Ugh, the son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. <laughs> of course it is. Horrors! Horse situation of Byakuya going missing! So serious, the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh, yeah. Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait, you. you didn't know that either? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, I do not have a brother complex. <laughs> I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. I don't remember this one. Because I never played this one. I think. I think this is a game or an anime, but I really don't know it, but... Okay, so on the right side, that's where, um, little Toko is at. Not that one with the curly, uh, pigtail lolito in the back over there. The, the one who's got long white hair, big muscular, in a skirt. That's where Toko is at. If, because they can't fit this whole big screen with a big small camera. I, I swear to God. <laughs> they were forced to kill each other. Classmates. Oh God, forced? Kill? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Even after all this time. The memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just a movie or game? It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. 
And make it a movie or something, wasn't it? The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world. Yeah, that's Toko right there. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survived. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged. But by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. Soon we came under future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause. To fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? Oh, she's getting emotional. Toko, are you crying? Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought. You confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Huh. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along. So eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? <laughs> Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto, you definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really changed. Aww. My baby, you're crazy. This is you so cute. You're more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? What? The reason uh, apologize? we were in prison there, it's because of us. If we weren't chosen by the mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. Huh? What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. What? In order to make us commit murder, the mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far, but the theme was killing among loved ones. The mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other, to make us really lose all hope. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. That was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the Mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I was still in prison. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the Mastermind's will. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Biaka and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines. The plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Shush! 
<laughs> I'm listening to the story. We've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Like I said, it's no coincidence. Conspiracy. Someone setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap. Using the captives as bait to lure us there. Captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game of sponsors. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Then Yuda and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're, they're all captives? Yes, there are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Oh, God. Oh. What you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game, too? Yeah. They put a wristband on me, and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Something about Big Sis Junko. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? Whoa! Oh. And what? Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school... No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And she has huge boobs. <clears throat> wow, Toko, you're... Wow. Oh, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> How jealous are you? <laughs> Big boobs, too? Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate despair. <gasps> what? She was... Former classmate. Yeah, I saw her in there. But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the mastermind? Yes, Junko and Oshima is dead. Uh, sorry, I'm a little. Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big chested despair goddess or something. Okay. <laughs> we did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but well, lately I've been thinking she must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. Listening to you guys is I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. No, that part. Uh, wrap it up, guys. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are killing adults, you know? Yeah. These are just so messed up here. Let's wrap it up, else. kids. Hurry up and get over here. Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows. But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me. Kamaru. Oh, come on. You can't. Yeah, of course. I, I can't... Can't what? Can't remove it. Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Biakia is being used as a deterrent. M meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Then... Future Foundation won't come save us? Oh, God. Then what am I supposed to do? Wrap it up, people. Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. This is impossible! No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you, too. All right, I'm going to end it right here. So I'll see you in the next episode. Let it be. Show some support. I try to make this longer for the story. I love you guys. Show some support.